do filme? Hmm. Why can we smell the fragrance of the perfume in the entire room and not just at one corner of the room? To answer to this question, let's look at today's topic. In today's lesson, we are going to compare the rate of diffusion in three states of matter. We can smell the fragrance from the perfume in the entire room and not just at the corner of the room because the perfume's small and discrete particles travel with the air particles. These particles move randomly in various directions which cause the fragrance of perfume to spread. Diffusion has just occurred. What is diffusion? Diffusion is a process in which the particles of substances diffuse from a high concentration area to a low concentration area. Last lesson, you have learned that matter exists in solid, liquid and gas. Diffusion can occur in solids, liquids and gases because there are spaces between the particles of solids, liquids and gases. Is there a difference in the rate of diffusion in solids, liquids and gases? Let's carry out an activity to look at the rate of diffusion in solid. Fill a test tube with gel until it is almost full. Add some crystals of copper to sulfate into the test tube. Close the mouth of the test tube with a cork and let it stand upside down. What can you see? Notice that at the end of the experiment, the whole gel turned blue. This is because the particles of copper to sulfate have diffused through the particles of gel. Is the process fast or slow? Is it easy for the particles of copper to sulfate to move through the spaces between the particles of gel? Notice that the whole process takes about 5 days. The blue color of the copper to sulfate crystal spread upward very slowly through the gel. The gel turns blue after a few days. The spaces between the gel particles are very small. These small spaces allow the particles of copper to sulfate to spread slowly into the gel. This means that the rate of diffusion of particles in solid is very slow. Next, Let's look at the diffusion in a liquid. Put in one spatula of copper to sulfate crystal into a measuring cylinder filled with 50 ml of distilled water. Observe the changes after 15 minutes and record your observations. The blue color of the copper to sulfate crystal spread faster through the water. The water turns blue after a few hours. The spaces between the water particles are larger. These larger spaces allow the particles of copper to sulfate to spread faster in water than in gel. This means that the rate of diffusion of particles in liquid is higher than in solid. Next, Let's look at the rate of diffusion in gas. Fill a gas jar with bromine gas and cover it. Invert the empty gas jar and place the inverted gas jar over the gas jar filled with bromine. The experiment is carried out in a fume chamber. Remove the gas jar cover. What can you see? The bromine gas diffuses upwards 
and spreads evenly throughout the gas jar filled with air within a few minutes after the gas jar cover is removed. The particles of bromine gas move through the spaces between the particles of air very quickly because the particles of gas are spread far apart from one another and the particles of gas have large spaces between them. Diffusion of bromine gas and air in both gas jars occurs until an even mixture is obtained. The rate of diffusion is the highest in gas. From what you have seen just now, the jar turns blue after a few days. The rate of diffusion of particles in solid is low. Water turns blue after 2 hours. The rate of diffusion of particles in liquid is higher than in solid. Bromine gas fills both gas jars after 15 minutes. The rate of diffusion of particles in gas is the highest. Therefore, the rate of diffusion is the highest in gases, followed by in liquids and the lowest in solids. I'm eating curry noodles. Mmm, nice smell, delicious. Can you smell the aroma of the curry too? Of course you can. Based on what you have learned just now, explain how you can smell the curry. The curry vapor is made of tiny and discrete particles that are carried along with the air. The particles of curry diffuse through the air and reach your nose very fast because the air particles are spread far apart from one another and have large spaces between particles. Therefore, you can smell the aroma of the curry even though you are not eating. That's all for today's lesson. Thank you.